Welcome back everybody, my name is Relic, and we are playing Life is Strange 2. Uh, last time we played, we did some training with Daniel, and um, we played a dice game, which is actually pretty fun. Uh, the dog apparently has to go to the bathroom really bad, but... Um, I'm gonna go check on Daniel real quick, because, you know, the dog is probably gonna... ...run away or something, we're gonna have to go chase after it. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move. So, so moody. What's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. It's gonna be okay, man. Hey, cool down. It's gonna be okay. I know. But what did you pack in? Everything. <sighs> Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? You let him outside. Still peeing, I guess. I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. Oh, uh, where are we? Refill our canteens. Weird sound. No way I can give any of these to Daniel. Too risky. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? See if there's anything else we can grab before. Oh, his backpack's still in here. Let's go see where the heck he is. Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? I'm about to get a snowball in the face, aren't I? Daniel! Where is he? Like, probably went that way. Then came back this way, ran down here. Over here. Daniel? Where are you? Those look like Puppy footprints. Blood. What the fuck happened here? Did our traps catch something? Dude, what are you doing? <sighs> That's not good. Uh oh. Oh no, did something grab our doggy? Why can't these poor kids just catch a break? Daniel? 
Oh shit. Not that Daniel. puppy. Do not move. It killed her! She was my friend! Calm down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! Uh, I feel like if we don't intervene, we're going to have a problem with the mountain lion. And ah, you killed my dog! Oh, shit. Fuck. I thought he was just going to, like, throw it. It just... to protect us. I... Save your strength. We'll... We'll figure it out. Poor puppy, though. It's all right. I'm right here. Why can't these poor kids just have a good time. We just got the puppy. Here. You should do it. Is that it? Well, unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember running through the snow with you and how you, you snuggled. And <laughs> I'll never forget you. Never. Thank you, Mushroom. For looking after us in these woods. You won't be forgotten. Sean. Do you think she's up in heaven? With Dad? Yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. Wait. What about his allergies? <sighs> Don't worry, <laughs> man. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. <sighs> okay. We should go. It's getting late. Sean, I'm sorry I killed the cat. I don't know what I was thinking. If only I could. I know. Come on, buddy. Man. Uh...
Always pay attention to your dogs when they're outside, guys. Wish we didn't have to go. I like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? They didn't Can catch we anything. Them up? <laughs> They'll protect the next runaways that stay here. Bye, Lord Snowman. You look after our mushroom. <laughs> So long, we dudes. So I guess we're going to our mother's parents house even though it appears we don't have a very good relationship with our mother like to the point where we won't even run away to her Wonder if he just has a cold or if his powers are actually affecting him like they did with Max in Life is Strange One. Seems okay besides the cough. That is so dangerous. Get out of the woods by the time night comes. It doesn't look like it. Nope. Couldn't have stolen some camping gear with your Chef Boy RD. <laughs> He's still coughing. Yeah, a long sequence of licensed music for it to be so quiet. Beaver Creek welcomes you, 1881. I believe this is the town that um, the kid from Captain Spirit is in. We made it, Daniel. The Reynolds. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. This is risky. Because I can see... This going two ways. 
Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. Oh boy. What if they went on vacation? Or that would suck, man. Something. We'll figure out something. I wonder what time it is. Maybe it's like super late and I'm waking them up. They are old. I'm sorry, we don't want any of. Hey. Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my. Is that. Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard. Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. <laughs> well. It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah. Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Yes, ma'am. Bet your grandpa calls the cops on us. Hey, is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Yeah. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? I make a mistake coming here. It's good to be inside. Finally. I just hope they let us stay the night. Other people? Yeah. Why did Sean ask like this? I'm not. Oh, shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide. Now, if you want us to help you, did you... Hurt that police officer in Seattle. I don't know. I swear I don't. Too much happened and I'm trying to figure it out, but all I know is that he shot dead. 
And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? It happened so fast. I saw the cop on the ground and my dad and, and I freaked out. Oh, I know, you poor thing. That just made things worse for you and your brother. You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Uh, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need Not to lines. think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? Go down to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean, you can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him, but you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise, or no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? <laughs> awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge monster <laughs> train upstairs. Hey! You're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. I mean, after the dog, I just don't have any high hopes for these kids. <laughs> How do you feel, Super Wolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, hmm. right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so, are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Oh. She's letting us stay here. We'll, we'll play along with sure. what we she wants to do. We can, get. can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, 
and Mushroom, and you and Grandpa, and uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and uh, Mushroom. Please give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay, it's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. A bad it's feeling so nice about to this. Have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring and nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. What happened? But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like there's probably more to that story. Uh, I guess. It might have hey, something man. to do with why he has superpowers. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know, I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. Wait, does it hurt? Nah, it's kind of itchy though. Itchy. And exhausting. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight. Little cub. I gotta say, it's probably extremely nice to live inside an insulated house for once in, like, what, two months? A whole week later, wow. I could sleep all day long in this bed, but I'm way too hungry. That's cool. Claire dug this up for us. That's such a baller in his suit. <laughs> oh, 
Man, I miss that dirty little dog so much more than I thought I would. For Man, sure. I miss that dirty little dog so much more than I thought I would. I don't even know how Beaver Creek looks like. We're not allowed to get out. This, this is pretty good so far. I love that Steven only has crime and train books. <laughs> What's we got? That's a cool memento of our secret cabbing in the woods. Thanks, Claire, but I will never wear these things. <laughs> Cold enough. Tanya was training his precision with these. Fucking awesome. That's pretty sweet. What you got in here, Daniel. Old tarp. All right, if it starts raining, nice. Rocket disc. <laughs> Space scuba. Why did he keep a weird demon doll? Have I drawn anything? Oh, I've drawn quite a bit. Okay. Uh, huge progress today. Stopped a slow ball and sl in motion. Real rock. Daniel's getting worse. No fever, but no food left. Leaving tomorrow for Beaver Creek. Oh, he's a puppy. Fuck. Daniel went nuts. Scary. Need to teach him control quick. Burning cold. Had to carry Daniel for over two miles. No one's stopping to help us. What's wrong with these guys? Dan getting better. He's eating like a horse. Guess that's good. I can't read his. Been hanging out with CNS a lot. Pretty awkward after all these years. They're walking on eggshells, not to talk about Seattle or Karen. There's a huge elephant following us everywhere. Rude. <laughs> right, Claire and Steven. He's pretty good, I gotta say. Discretion, don't leave the house. Disconnection, no phone, no internet. Daily chores. Homework for Daniel. <laughs> Good luck with that, Claire. Board AF, grateful for being here, but need to get out. Gotta think of what's next. Chill for the wicked. have a phone anymore. Got $15. Night in the forest. Found in one of the bedrooms I finally have time to read now. Nice. Brody's letter. Where are we? We're down here in Oregon now. Oh, wow, it's pretty far to Beaver Creek from here. Okay. Okay, uh, I think this is a good place to pause for now, and I'll pick it up in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.